What is up my friends, my name is Evan, welcome back to the Evan Jung Show. One of the most common objections of the existence of God is, I cannot see him, I cannot feel him, I cannot touch him, I cannot smell him. Why would I believe that there is such a God? Although I disagree because creation itself proves that there is a creator and we can all see, feel, touch, smell creation everywhere. I actually did quite a few videos on the evidence of God. I'll link them down in the description below if you want to check them out. But in today's video, I want to talk about if there is such a God, if such a God exists and He wants us to believe in Him and to love Him, why doesn't he just show himself to us, right? It is really simple actually. I'm gonna use the analogy of the Servant King, an analogy that Frank Turek, a Christian apologist, explained it the best. But I'm gonna try to explain it to you the best that I can in this video. So without further ado, let's begin. So there was once this great king, his people revered him, his enemies trembled when they see him, and nobody dares to say anything against him. And yet this great and powerful king fell madly in love with this humble maiden in a small village. So this king thought to himself, how could he declare his love to this humble maiden. Of course, he could straight away bring her to the palace, lavish her with lots of jewels, and to put her in royal robes. Or he could go to her village in his royal gown and his royal carriage and a royal army escort waving bright banners. And she would surely not resist, right? I mean, nobody actually dares to resist him. But if you really think about it, would she love him? She would of course say that she loved him, but would she truly love him? Or would she live with him in fear? Would she truly be happy living with the king? How could he possibly know? The king didn't want the maiden to see him just as a king, a super distant and far away figure. He wants a lover. He wants the maiden to love him for who he is. And similarly, this is what God is facing in his pursuit of you and me. If God reveals himself and all his power to us, that will simply overwhelm us. And we may not even have the free will to choose whether or not we should love him. Love and power are often inversely related. And even if we retain our freedom, we may not love God, but merely love what God could give us. So, what can God do? Here's what the king did. The king realized that he cannot overwhelm the maiden with his power, which will take away her freedom. So the king decided to renounce his throne and to take on a new identity in order to win her hand. He dressed himself as a beggar and approached the village incognito. And this is exactly what God did to win you and me. Jesus descended to the human level as a servant to serve us and to die for our sins. Paul described Jesus' sacrifice to us in this way in his letters to the Philippians chapter 2 verse 5 to 8. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Jesus Christ, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself to becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. This illustrates how the creator of the universe humbled himself to serve, suffer and die at the hands of the very creature that he created so as to save us while respecting our freedom. Taking the form of a human servant is the only way God can offer us salvation while respecting our freedom to choose to accept or to reject him. You can reject Jesus because Jesus has left your free will truly free. And the decision is 100% in your hands. What are you gonna do? I will leave that to you. If you found this video helpful in any way, I appreciate it. If you drop me one of these, it really encourages me. Do let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If you agree or disagree, I would love to start a conversation with you in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss out on any of my future videos on faith. Happy Sunday, y'all, and I'll see every one of you in my next video. Bam!